All right, Miles. If 2x equals 16, what is x? Um... Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were still here. Should I come back? That's okay. Please. Uh, I don't know. One? Did you do the reading last night? I don't have the book. My parents can't afford it. Here. I keep an extra copy just in case. And I'll keep tutoring you after class until you catch up. Thank you. Judy, what's taking so long? I can't wait out in the parking lot forever. I'm sorry. Do you mind giving me 20 more minutes? 20 minutes? Mrs. Parker, it's OK. I'll just go home. You've taught me enough. And have you failed another test? I don't think so. Your mom would be very unhappy if you failed another test, so I can take the bus home. I have to pick up some groceries for dinner anyway. Uh, you should have told me before I came. I'm missing the prices, right? Um, I don't mind giving you a ride. I have to go to the grocery store to get detergent anyway. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Rhonda. You are so sweet. It's nothing. Okay, tell me this. What is 16 divided by 2? Um, 8? Bingo. X equals 8. Great job. All right. Now, let's do another problem. OK. All right. Is that everything you need? Hmm. More like all I can afford. You know, my dad used to always say, if you're going to be a teacher, you got to learn to eat on a budget. And boy, was he right. Do you really need the pens and the pencils? It's for the kids. It's so sad. Many of them don't even have basic school supplies. I mean, is that really your problem? You barely get paid as it is. That'll be sixty-three forty-nine. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be that much. Just put the school supplies back. No. My kids need them. Um, How much was the steak? Eleven ninety nine. It still doesn't look like you'd have enough. Let's uh, take the eggs off too. Are you sure, Judy? Honey, give me a bit and I'll have dinner ready. It took you long enough. So, what's for dinner? Not again. We don't have any money for this. We barely can buy as it is. Did you bring us any food? Yes. I'm going to make quesadillas. Quesadillas? J just go have a seat. I used to eat better when I was a broke college student. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Tomorrow's ramen? Not right now, Marvin. I already have enough stress as it is. Plus, I have to grade all of these papers before I start my lesson plan for tomorrow. So please, have a seat. You working tonight? We were supposed to watch Casablanca. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that anymore. We can watch it on the weekend. You spend more time with them children than you do your own husband. You act like they're your own children. It's not like you're getting paid any extra for doing any of this. Hello there. You must be Mr. Parker. Richard Carlisle, First National Financial. We've been trying to get a hold of you. Okay. As you probably know, your mortgage is past due. As of today, you're 60 days. Which means you're at risk of foreclosure. Well, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Carlisle. Sure, I just... Uh... You see this, Judy? We're about to lose the house. We're going to get through this. Just pray. Oh, okay. We need more than prayer. We need money. You know I can't work because of my disability. It's not like the government gives me much. 
I, I think you're just going to have to get a better paying job. I'm not giving up on teaching, Marvin. Well, what are we going to do, huh? If you're not going to stop teaching, then at least stop wasting our money on these kids. I'm not wasting money on them. I'm trying to help them. I always believe if you help people, it'll find a way of coming back to uh, you. You've been helping these kids for 25 years, Judy. And what do you have to show for it? A, a cheap plaque? It's not true. Look at these. Look at these. These are all letters from past students saying how much of an impact I had on their lives. JR, isn't he the student you bought a bike for when you started teaching because his was stolen? So you spent $200 on him and all you got in exchange was a piece of paper. Well, I guess your good deeds really do come back to you. If you read it, it's really a very sweet letter. They all are. Yeah, well, letters aren't going to pay you more. I'm ready for dinner. Mrs. Parker. Hi, Miss Burton. Is everything okay? No. Miles got a C minus on his last test. Isn't it wonderful? He did so much better than the test before. No, it isn't. He's still failing. Well, math doesn't come naturally to Miles. That's why I'm doing all I can to help him. Don't blame my son. You are the teacher. You are responsible for what he learns and what he doesn't learn. I knew I should have listened to my gut. And now I have to talk to Principal Danvers about switching him to a new team. What? Please don't do that. Miles and I, we have a special connection. If you could just give me a little more time. Your time is up. You should have done that a lot sooner. Gosh, the nerve. You okay? I don't know what I did wrong. You just care too much. That's all you did. You gotta stop putting so much energy into these kids. Start taking care of yourself. Everything okay? No. Today was probably one of the worst days of my teaching career. One of my students' moms, he, she was yelling at me, and she even pulled the student from my class. It was horrible. Exactly why you should quit. Marvin. Listen, I'm serious. Look at everything you do for these kids, and no one appreciates it. Not even the parents. Miss Parker? Yes, Abigail. Is everything all right? Mm-hmm. I was just studying for tomorrow's test, and I had some questions. Do you think you can help me? Right now? If that's okay. Judy, we gotta go home. We don't have time for... I can take the bus or I can get a ride again. You just go ahead and go home. Come on, sweetheart. I'll help you. We can... We can sell this. No. Your father gave you this, and I know how much it means to you. No. Well, what other choice do we have? Well, if we're going to sell your watch, we might as well. Absolutely not. We're not going to sell your engagement ring. I can't believe we're even in this situation. Even with all of this, it's still not enough for the 15000 we need. Okay. Then we'll have to move. It's not the end of the world. This house is too big for us anyway. It was fine when Sebastian was growing up. But now, with just the two of us, we don't need all this space. Have you told him? He just got married. They have a baby on the way. I didn't want to stress him out. 
<laughs> I remember when he was little, and all his toys was all around here. And I used to get mad coming down the stairs and stepping on all his Legos. Yeah, he grew up too fast. Now, I used to hate when his house was so messy because his stuff was all over the place. But now, I wish I could bring some of that mess in his back. There are a lot of memories in here. Well, I guess it's time. No, no, no. I'll get it. We just need some days to gather our belongings and then we're out of here. I'm sorry? We can't pay the balance, so give us about a week. That's all we need. Mrs. Parker, I don't work for the bank. It's me, Justin Russell. JR. JR, oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. Is, is it the bank? No, it's JR, he came to see me. What a nice surprise. Oh, wow. So how you been? I've been good. I'm in real estate now, which is actually why I'm here. I saw that your house was in foreclosure, but it's it's all public record. Yes, it's, it's OK. We're managing. So you come on inside and I can make us some tea. Oh, actually, I was hoping that you'd come outside. I have a little surprise for you, starting with this. $3,000? Why? I would never forget when you bought me that bike when I was a little kid. That meant the world to me back then. That bike only cost $200. I can't do this. No, it's not just the bike. It's how much you helped me and how much you believed in me. Honestly, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I probably wouldn't have graduated. Honey, look. That's nice. Not enough to save the house, but can use it as a deposit on the new apartment. Thank you very much. Oh, there's way more where that came from. There is? A lot more. Who said that? Why don't you come outside and see? Who are all these people? Hi, Miss Parker. It's me, Corey. Corey Miller? Oh my gosh, it's been ages. Nah, I know. <laughs> but, you know, I never forgot all those times when I didn't have my lunch money. You would always buy me lunch. So, I want to say thank you. No, this is too much. Thank you. This is for all those hours you'd spend tutoring me after school. And no one else would. Wow. I don't know what to say. Hey, Miss Parker. It's me, Jamie. You paid for my textbooks when my family couldn't afford it. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> of course I remember you. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. How did, how did you manage to do this? Well, when I found out what you were going through, posted about it on our alumni Facebook group. So it turns out a lot of people remembered you for all your kind deeds. So they all wanted to. And there were actually a lot more alumni. They couldn't be here, but they were able to donate through our GoFundMe page. Go GoFundMe? Yeah, so now not only do you have to not worry about foreclosure, but you no longer have to worry about the mortgage payments. Oh! You can pay off the whole house now. This is this is for me? Yeah. I I can't believe this. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh my god. Oh my god, our prayers have been answered. Oh well, you were right, honey. When you help people, you always find its way back to. 
God, yeah. Does that make sense now? Now it does. Thanks so much for your help. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. I'm always here when you need me. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I just finished and I was oh, just... Oh, no, no, no. Take all the time you need. No rush at all. I just came by to say that there's someone here to see you. Miss Burton, how can I help you? Miles got his first test back with Mr. Souble. He got his first F. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. His new teacher won't help him the way you did. So I was wondering if you would be open to taking him back. I see now that he really struggles in math. And no one cares to help him the way you did. Well, I, I don't know. Please, don't punish him for my bad decision. Miles really loves you. Well, okay. Only under one condition. When he grows up, and it becomes really successful, he has to write me a letter. I love when my students write me a letter. Of course. Thank you for believing in it. Can we stop past the store so I can pick up something? Actually, I already went because I'm making you dinner tonight show you how much I appreciate you. Don't get so excited. It's just quesadillas. <laughs> oh, quesadillas is fine. So while you're cooking, I can get my work done, and then we can watch Casablanca tonight. Ooh, that's music to my ears. All right, now. It's okay. <laughs> hey.